I just collected some uh, little worms, baby worms, like just, you know, little red wrigglers. <laughs> They're acting so much like chickens, it's great. They're looking for them. They're running around with the worms. There's some worms in here, right in there. I don't know if you see them. But they're already really excited. Uh, his black one. Blackie's got one. <laughs> it's not very smart. Oh, he's got one. Little baby worms. Look, they're all wriggling around there. So they're getting their protein today. Uh, he's running around with the. He's got a big old worm. He's running around with it. Look at that. He, <laughs> he's trying to. Uh, there's another one. Here's another worm. At least he's eating them. I like the baby ones. Oh, <laughs> it fell through the hole. <laughs> the worm escaped down here. And I gotta clean this area out here. Look at all this stuff. So this is actually part of the coop. So let's clean this out. Where I'm getting them from is right here. This is uh, all the um, leftovers from my compost heap that I've emptied out from last year. As I, there's some plot paper and stuff in here. I shouldn't be in here. Let's, uh, start throwing stuff in there. And there's just you can see the eggshells and all the goodness in here. If I dig down, pick out some of the stuff that shouldn't be in here. There's a red regular right there. Where are you going? Just saw you. Bright red. And just in this stuff here is just tons, tons of baby worms. A red regular right there. A little baby worm. And that's Right there is what they're lo at loving. I see bigger than what they're actually eating. There's a big old boy right here. Look at that guy. That's a fishing worm right there. That's to catch me another fish for the for the pond. Maybe I'll go fishing. Let's put this guy aside. Let's go catch another fish for the pond. I'm noticing a lot of frogs and stuff out, and they're all sunning themselves on the on the trees. Here's a really interesting one. I think it's a girl. Can you spot the frog? Look at her right there. A big old fat belly. I think that's a girl. Trying to get a little bit of warmth. It's kind of a chilly day today. It's a green with it's a brown. And here's another one. Can you spot it? Spot the frog. Where is he? Where is she? She's right there on the biwa leaf. Camping out, my little guard. The time is starting to come out. It's gonna be really pretty here the next couple days. It's hopefully gonna be a tra attraction to a lot of the bumblebees. This is some sort of solid, some solitary bee right here. That's a mason bee, I think. And that's what this is here for. It's a mason bee little habitat there for them. I also saw a bumblebee flying around here. Um, it's kind of a bumblebee. It's, it's all one color. Let's see if we can find her. And you can start seeing the strawberries, tree strawberries starting to form right here. Look at that. That's a kinichigo, means strawberry tree so I have lots of strawberry tree a lot of strawberries coming out here so I'm taking my one worm cheap little fishing pole Just walking across the road there's our house right there found a house the black one right there in between Found this one right there yeah I'm gonna come down here. so how I attach a worm I just threw the little fat area right there Put it on there so he was wiggling around. Let's see if we can catch ourselves a fish. I don't think you can see the bobber, but what I do is I cast upstream and let it just coast down the middle. 
and just let it sit there. Oh, you can see the bobber there. On there. Unfortunately, I can't film and fish at the same time because I need this hand to reel in. So, I'll see what happens. Since I'm dealing with a little bit of a current, what I do is I just flip it, let the line go out. Just let it, until it goes out there, just let it sit out there, as long as I can see the bobber. Until hopefully something's going to hit it. I caught my last fish on the first worm that I threw out there, so <laughs> I decided I love my worms too much. I can only spare like one worm at a time. You know, so and it's so close. My fishing line's right here, but they're just not biting. It's a nice, juicy red wriggler. And uh, probably a little bit late in the day. Best time to go fishing is in the evening, from what I understand, in early morning. Whoa, my line is way stuck over there on something. Oh, it's on this thing here. Oh, it's on that. Okay. Is it free? Yeah. Unless my, I wonder if my bobber came off. What the heck? Hold on, I gotta ring, ring this. It's kind of a, an optical illusion. It looks like the river right is flowing this way the waves are actually moving upriver but the current is actually moving downriver and there's my popper down there which I don't see now oh there it's there right on the side all right let's reel, reel it in and cast it out again maybe third time's the charm this is the third cast that I have have done today and I don't know this is gonna be the last one if uh, nothing eats this worm, that worm is going back into the yard. And it'll be a, a fish story that worm will be able to share with others. I mean, our rivers are pretty much dead. You know? They're polluted with agrochemicals. And, you know, when 50 years ago, these would have been pristine you would be able to see the bottom now it's all muddied and everything and uh, they're what's known as um, dead zones and what a dead zone is basically is there's so much nitrogen based fertilizers coming off you know rice paddies or whatever or pig farms or you know or anything else all this nitrogen flows eventually gets caught in the rain and eventually makes it into our rivers and then what happens is um, the bacteria starts just going crazy on all this nitrogen. And bacteria needs oxygen. So they start eating up all the oxygen. So there's no oxygen in the ocean or in these rivers, in these areas, these, these uh, estuaries, that outlets. Not enough to support uh, diversity of fish. So, you know, it's basically oxygen poor. Seems like we need these huge oxygenators, you know, in the river. Seems kind of stupid. Why not just get rid of the um, fertilizers? But well, it looks like nothing's biting, and it's sound knows, Maybe it's just too cold for the fish. Come on, give me a bite. I need another fish for the pond. My fish needs a friend. You know, I grew up in Spain and I grew up doing a lot of fishing. I lived on the coast, on the water, Palma de Mallorca. And I just remember throwing in the line and catching two, three fish at a time. <laughs> Not even getting a bite. I mean, this is actually ridiculous. And just looking at this trash floating by, you know, this is going out to the into the ocean. All this 
water, all this, you know, whatever churned up stuff, silt. It's, uh, you know, no longer clear. Floats way down there. Well, that's it for me, fishing. I heard something drop and look what I lost. I lost my friggin' reel Co coaster. Looks like it just fell off. I don't see any screws. What the heck? <laughs> that's what you get when you buy cheap. Stuff they make nowadays is just crap. It's a shame. True to my word, he's still alive. <laughs> Put him back. Put him back in his little home here. There you go. <laughs> Somehow this fork ended up in the compost. I'm going to use it to dig for worms. I'm going to leave it right here. So, a worm story. How I went to the river and came back. Not in one piece, but it did come back.